Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Gabe and it is so good to be with you. And I want to say hello to all of our friends in Ottawa, all of our friends in Kansas City, Kansas, and Olathe. And those of you that are watching online, what is going on? Also a special shout out to our friends in Hero Squad. Man, we got people watching all over the place and you might be all over the place because it's around this time and it depends some of you may be or everything's a little bit different but you might be on spring break or you just got back from spring break maybe you went somewhere with your family maybe you did something at home maybe you just didn't have to go to school or go online but man it's almost spring it's about that time and i'm telling you i am so glad Ooh, it's been cold and everything else. I can't wait for spring. How many of you guys have been outside? How many of you been outside and been playing and been riding your bike or been running around doing something, man? I tell you, I can't wait. I want to be outside as much as possible. And have you noticed, if you notice a few things if you go outside, have you noticed how if you look and maybe you have to move away some leaves or something, but there might be a little flower bud coming through the ground. Maybe you had some flowers in front of your house or you see at a neighbor's house or somewhere else and you've seen some flowers start to come up. Man, when I see that, I know that, okay, it's about time for spring. Things are gonna be coming up, the grass is gonna be greener. And how many of you, when it comes spring, do you help maybe with some spring cleaning around the house? Or maybe you help clean up the yard or different things like that. How many of you get ready for spring? Like we're talking about things springing up and doing things, but do you guys do anything different for spring? Do you help out whoever you're with, maybe clean up or do different things? And what do you really enjoy about the change from winter to spring? And what is the most fun thing that you get to do or you've done lately with the nice weather? All right, so there's lots of different things that we look forward to when spring is coming. And one of the things that I really enjoy is right here. How I many of you can tell me what this is? Okay, what about this? Or this? Can you tell me what this is? Or what are these? Spring is the time that these get to be planted and as spring comes and even into summer, you'll be able to have some of these. Now, I love these. I want to show you something else, okay? What is this? And how does this compare to this? And how does this compare to this? Well, I mean, Okay, look at the size of that. That's square. Okay. Um, I know, I know. Let, let's look at this. Here. Like, that's, well, there's like four of these, and there's one of these. But, do you see something? Yeah. Like, you have maybe a tomato and some tomato seeds. And you have carrots and carrot seeds, and you have radishes and radish seeds. And you have peppers and pepper seeds. And this is a time when you're able to plant these seeds. But what is the difference between this and this? What do you think? And what are the difference between all of these? Are they the same or is there something different? If there is, like, let me know. I, I wanna know, what, what do you think? What's the difference between these and why? All right, now a lot of you have different thoughts about vegetables. Some of you love carrots, you love tomatoes, you love peppers, you love radishes. Some of you are like, oh, I don't want anything to do with broccoli or Brussels sprouts or anything else, but we love vegetables. That's one of the great things about spring is how things can get planted and how they end up growing. And I love vegetables. But one thing about vegetables is, is that, you see this here? You see what's inside of here? Is this, this. Well, I mean, they're, they're seeds and this is seeds, so this will become what this is. Oh, those are carrots and these are tomatoes. Oh, hold on. Um, um, okay, here we go. Okay, so here, yeah, they're round and this, okay, they're round and they're red. So this is going to become this. 
because those are round and these are round. So that's what these are gonna become. Yeah, these are radishes and those are tomatoes. Um, yeah, as much as we'd like, radishes aren't gonna become tomatoes and carrots aren't gonna become to tomatoes or tomatoes, carrots, no. See, what, what you need is to get tomatoes, you need to plant tomato seeds and that brings you tomatoes, right? See, inside the seed is everything that you need to have tomatoes. See, there's a plan, there's a purpose for these seeds to grow tomatoes. Now, if any of you have ever planted anything, and if you haven't and you want to, I'm gonna give you a tip. Take the things that have the seeds, and I want you to turn it over, okay? Always take a different look at it and look on the back because whether you have this or whether you have radishes or different things, they all have the different things on the back. Is that if you look on the back, it'll tell you when it should be planted. And it should tell you how it should be planted. So when it should be planted and how it should be planted and even how long you have to wait until you can get them. See, it gives you a plan right here that if you follow this plan and you play, place those, okay, this many days and you play it at this depth and you space them this time, that if you follow the plan that's here and if you are living up here, you plant them here and then when and you do that, if you follow the plan, follow the plan that's given for these, well, this little container can come into this thing of tomatoes. But what's the difference? Well, you have to follow the plan. But but I know, I know, wait a minute. Uh, you, you like carrots, right? Like, I like carrots. Well, I'm gonna follow the plan because I like carrots. I'm gonna follow the plan for the carrots, but I'm gonna do that for the tomatoes. So what would happen if I followed the plan for the carrots, but yet I did that for the tomatoes? Or if I followed maybe the plan for the peppers and I ended up trying to do that for the radishes. What do you think would happen and how many plants would we get, if any, if we didn't follow what it said about where they should be planted, when they should be planted, how they should be planted, and what should we expect? What do you think we would get? Um, remember I told you I, I, I like carrots. Um, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I'm, I'm sorry about that. I like carrots. And as much as I like carrots, well, I don't know. Could I eat some carrots if I went and started eating these? I don't know, but they'd be as chewy. They probably wouldn't taste as good as what I had by taking these. Well, why? But they're carrots. These are carrot seeds. Carrot seeds are kind of carrots. Why can't I have those? Well, because they weren't grown. They weren't like this. They weren't at their purpose. And it's like we were talking about how different things have a place and a time and a way that they need to be planted. That same thing applies to you and me. Throughout the Bible, God's word, it talks about planting and harvest and seasons. And there's so many different references to planting and crops in the Bible that God uses because it's all around us and we could see it and about how it applies to our life. You know, our memory verse this month is Proverbs 19, 21. And it says, many are the plans and a person's heart, but it's the Lord's purpose that prevails. Now I know that this carrot and I don't think that these carrots or maybe like a cucumber or a tomato can kind of go around and talk. Okay, I, I don't know if any of you have seen VeggieTales and as much as I like seeing that and different things, I, <laughs> I don't know if they're really gonna be talking to us. But if they could, I don't think a carrot's gonna say, hey, I'm a carrot, but I'm gonna be a red pepper. Because see, 
the plan and what, what this is made to do, well, it's to be a carrot. And just like how we have seeds that are planted, I talked to you, don't forget, go to the store when you see some, some different seeds, look on the back and you can see the plans that are set for these. Do you know who put these plans here? Well, it's the company that harvested all the seeds and has harvested crops just like this. And they know what it takes. They know what it takes to get the best tomatoes and peppers and carrots. And because they know what's best for that, they wanna help you and give you those instructions. Well, in the same way, God has given us instructions. God has given us a plan, but yet it's really, do we want to follow it? You know, we talked about maybe, hey, I'm going to plant the carrots like I do the tomatoes or the radishes. And if I go and follow that plan, well, I don't know if the carrot's going to look like this. It might not even grow at all. And the tomatoes, well, I don't know if those will grow either. Because see, there's a unique plan. There's a neat thing set up for just each one of them. Now, if you've ever noticed a garden, here's what's great about a garden, is that you can have a row of tomatoes. You can have a row of radishes, and you can have a row of carrots. The garden is made so that all of these can be in one area, but they all have a different place of how they're placed and when they're placed and everything else. And they actually could work off each other and helping to get the soil with nutrients and different things. And it's just like us, how we can all work together, how we can all be together for one plan and purpose. And of course, that plan and purpose is one of the most ultimate one where it says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And it goes on to say, as equal and as important as this, is to love your neighbor as yourself. God has a plan for us, and if we can choose to follow that, I know that we can have a much better harvest, a much better harvest for you. Yeah, you, the young lady that's watching this that wants to be a lawyer or a doctor or a construction worker or a truck driver or a pastor or a teacher. Who knows what the plans are that they have for you? And what about you guys, young men out there? How many of you want to be a lawyer, a doctor, a truck driver, construction? You wanna work on a ranch? You wanna be a teacher? The plans out there and the things that you wanna do, they're limitless. But what we have to remember is that God has a plan for us. God has instructions for us. And we wanna make sure that we go in line with God's plan. And we've been talking about that in a plan. Don't forget plan, P-L-A-N. The P stands for peace. We want to have peace in that situation. The L wants us to lean not on our own understanding. and all our ways, acknowledge him and he will direct our path. And the A, we want to ask God. We want to ask those that we look up to. In the end, we want to never stop praying. So as we think about a plan and things that we want to do, remember that God has a plan for us. And just like our memory verse this month, many are the plans in a person's heart, but it's the Lord's purpose that prevails. So how can we be in line with God's purpose? Well, let's remember the plan. Let's remember that God has instructions for us. And just like how we have crops, remember where you're planted, remember when you're planted, and remember how you're planted. Because it can make a big difference on your life, and just like for these, make a life of much more of a harvest. And what are you gonna choose? Where, when, and how will you be planted?